This video will provide an overview of installing storm doors with the 2-hour Easy Install System. Today we will be installing the MCO 400 Series Self-Storing Storm Door. If you are installing a different storm door, the installation steps in this video may vary from the steps in your installation guide. Storm doors with the 2-hour Easy Install System come prepped for easy assembly and installation with only basic skills and tools in about 2 hours. You'll need safety glasses, a flat blade screwdriver or quarter inch nut driver, a Phillips screwdriver, a drill or driver, a half inch drill bit, a three quarter inch drill bit, a chisel, a hammer, pliers, a center punch, scissors, a tape measure, a pencil, and masking tape. Included with your door, you will find an installation kit which includes four color-coded bags and other components. Reference the guide included in the kit for a component list. Before you begin, find the installation guide that came with your storm door. Be sure to read it completely, including all the cautions and warnings. You can also download the guide at stormdoors.com. Before you begin, determine whether you want the door to open from the left or the right as viewed from the exterior. Most homeowners prefer to have the storm door handle on the same side as the entry door handle. In shallow openings, this can cause the two handles to interfere. Check for potential interference before choosing your handing. Refer to the installation guide to determine if you need to use the provided hinge rail shim. If so, follow the guide to install the shim. To begin, Prepare the door for installation. Place the door in the upright position and identify the outside of the door by the embossed panel. For a left-handed installation, the handle will be on the left. For a right-handed installation, the handle will be on the right. In this video, we will be installing the door to be right-handed. Place the handle side edge of the door frame on a protected flat work surface. Using a nut driver or a flat blade screwdriver, remove the two middle hex head screws from the hinge side edge of the door frame. Orient the hinge rail on the hinge side edge of the door. Make sure the weather strip is on the interior side of the panel. For these next steps, we will be using the contents from the pink bag included with your storm door. Make sure each of the hinge leaves is resting on the edge of the door panel. Position the lower hole of the second hinge up from the bottom with the lower hole from which the screw was removed in the previous step. The hinge rail should extend about 3 16 of an inch beyond the top of the door frame. Prior to drilling pilot holes, insert an unpainted screw into the pre-drilled hole. Using the 1 8 inch drill bit from the pink bag, drill pilot holes 1 inch deep in the door frame at each hinge. Then, fasten using the 1 inch unpainted screws from the pink bag. Be careful not to over tighten the screws. Do not remove the foam insert located inside of the hinge side pocket. Next, hold the cover plate over the hinge side pocket of the door frame edge. Make sure the hinge side pocket is fully covered by the cover plate. Mark the two mounting screw locations with a pencil. Set the cover plate aside. Using a 1 8 inch bit, drill a hole 1 half inch deep in the marked locations. Position the cover plate. Using a Phillips screwdriver, Secure the cover plate using the two half-inch painted screws from the pink bag. Be careful not to over-tighten the screws. Position the door on a clean flat work surface with the interior side facing up. Slide the sweep fin into the sweep. Then, pull the sweep out. Using pliers, Crimp the top leg of the sweep to hold the fin in place and repeat for the other side. Then, use scissors to trim any excess material and dispose of properly. 
Align the door sweep so it is centered across the width of the door frame and press tightly against the bottom of the door frame. Use a center punch and a hammer to make a dimple in the panel through the bottom of the slots in the sweep. This will allow for vertical adjustment of the sweep later in the installation. Using the 1 8 inch bit, drill holes 1 half inch deep at the marked locations, being careful not to drill through the panel. Then, use a Phillips screwdriver to secure the sweep with the painted half inch screws from the pink bag. Do not fully tighten the latch side screw. Install the sill spacer clip under the latch side sweep screw and tight against the bottom of the sweep. Tighten the sweep screw to keep the sill spacer clip in place. Install the latch side spacer clip over the latch side of the door panel as shown. The clip should be about 6 inches from the bottom of the door panel. For these next steps, we will be using the contents of the yellow bag included with your storm door. Set the door on the entry sill with the hinge rail tight against the mounting surface and the sill spacer clip sitting on the door sill. Tip the top of the door into the opening, making sure that the sill spacer clip is still on the door and resting on the sill. The door may be out of square at this time. The door is properly seated in the opening when the hinge rail and the latch side spacer clip are flush against the mounting surface and the mounting surface completely fills the hole in the latch side spacer clip. If the latch side spacer clip hole is not completely filled, reference the installation guide for additional steps. Next, drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole into the mounting surface through the top hole in the rail using the provided bit. Then, fasten the hinge rail to the mounting surface using a drill with a Phillips bit and a 1 inch screw from the yellow bag. Be careful not to over tighten. Continue by drilling 1 8 inch pilot holes through the remaining holes in the rail using the provided bit. Then, fasten the hinge rail to the mounting surface using a drill with a Phillips bit and the 1 inch screws from the yellow bag. Be careful not to over tighten. Next, open the storm door. Drill 1 8 inch pilot holes through the pre-drilled holes in the hinge rail. Then, fasten the hinge rail to the door jamb using a drill with a Phillips bit and the 1 inch screws from the yellow bag. Be careful not to over tighten the screws. Remove both of the orange spacer clips from the bottom of the door and dispose of properly. Then, re-tighten the latch side sweep screw. Next, install the rain cap. Position the rain cap in the opening so that it rests on top of the hinge rail, aligning the end of the rain cap with the edge of the hinge rail. Close the storm door. Position the rain cap so it is even with the hinge rail. Next, Using a drill with the 1 8 inch bit, drill a pilot hole on the hinge side 1 inch deep through the pre-drilled hole in the rain cap. Then, using a drill with a Phillips bit, attach the rain cap using a 1 inch screw from the yellow bag. Position the rain cap so that the space between the rain cap and the panel is even across the door. Using a drill with the 1 8 inch bit, drill a pilot hole on the handle side 1 inch deep through the pre-drilled hole in the rain cap. Using a drill with a Phillips bit, secure the rain cap using a 1 inch screw from the yellow bag. Next, look through the center hole of the rain cap. If the mounting surface fills the entire hole, then pre-drill and fasten with one of the half inch screws provided. If the mounting surface does not fill the entire hole in the rain cap, then refer to the installation guide to determine if the plug and rain cap extender are required. Next, open the door and wipe off any residue on the edge of the door. Then, find the three half-inch square adhesive bag spacer pads in the yellow bag. Remove one spacer pad from the paper backing and attach it to the handle side of the door edge approximately six inches down from the top. Continue with the other two pads, placing one above the hinge side pocket at the center and the other six inches up from the bottom. 
Place the latch rail in the opening with the top against the rain cap. Close the storm door and slide the latch rail towards the door frame until it contacts all three spacer pads. Next, drill 1 8 inch pilot holes through the pre-drilled holes in the latch rail. Then, fasten the latch rail to the mounting surface using a drill with a Phillips bit and the 1 inch screws from the yellow bag. Be careful not to over tighten the screws. Next, open the storm door, remove the spacer pads and dispose of properly. Position the ventilating glass panel at a comfortable working height. Secure the latch assembly to the window frame using the 3 quarter inch screws provided. Then, close the ventilating window. Next, prepare the door for handle set installation. Do not remove the foam insert located inside the handle side pocket. Align the template from the handle set box with the mortise slot and the door as shown. Mark a line on the door at the top of the template. Fold the template around the edge of the door, aligning the top of the template with the pencil mark on the door. Tape the template in place. Using a center punch and hammer, make a dimple in the center of the mark locations in the template as shown on both sides of the panel. Next, drill 1 8 inch starter holes through the dimples from each side of the door frame. Be careful not to drill completely through the door from either side. Then, use the 1 half inch drill bit to enlarge the holes at the top and bottom of the template on both sides. Use the 3 quarter inch drill bit to enlarge the two middle holes as marked on the template on both sides. Remove the template, any debris, and the foam insert. Dispose of properly. Next, position the lock case with the latch bolt above the deadbolt as shown. The rounded portion of the latch bolt should be facing the interior. If it is not, use a Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws from the faceplate, and remove the faceplate. Rotate the latch bolt 180 degrees so that the rounded portion will face the interior of the home. Reinstall the faceplate using the previously removed screws. For these next steps, we will be using the contents of the blue bag included with your storm door. Position the exterior trim plate over the holes on the exterior of the door and hold in place. The spindle on the exterior trim plate should pass through the lock case until visible from the interior of the door. Position the interior trim plate making sure the spindle inserts into the thumb turn on the interior trim plate. Line up the small holes in the trim plate with the holes on the interior of the door. Insert two 7 8 inch screws from the blue bag through the interior trim plate holes and thread into the exterior trim plate. Do not tighten the screws. Place the nylon washer from the blue bag over the spindle handle. Fully insert the square spindle of the handle through the upper hole in the trim plate through the lock case with the curved side up. Place the nylon washer from the blue bag over the handle. Slide the handle onto the square spindle. Then, using the hex wrench from the blue bag, tighten the set screw on the handle. Do not squeeze the handles together too tightly. Next, using a drill with a 1 8 inch bit, drill two holes 1 quarter inch deep through the mounting holes in the lock case. Using a Phillips screwdriver, fasten the lock case to the door with two 3 quarter inch screws from the blue bag. Then, tighten the trim plate screws. Check the latch and deadbolt for proper function.
close the door and turn the thumb turn on the interior of the door. If the thumb turn is unable to reach its horizontal position, refer to the installation guide for further instructions. Next, open the door and extend the deadbolt. Close the door and, using a pencil, mark at the top and bottom of the deadbolt and the latch bolt on the latch rail. Open the door completely. Position the striker plate on the latch rail so that the slot is on the top and the round hole is on the bottom. Fasten the striker plate on the latch rail through the slots with two 1 half inch flathead screws from the blue bag. Close the door, making sure it latches properly. If not, open the door, loosen the screws, and adjust the striker plate from front to back. Then, retighten the screws. Next, center punch and drill two 1 8 inch holes through the remaining striker plate mounting holes. Install two 1 half inch flathead screws from the blue bag into the round holes of the striker plate. For these next steps, we will be using the contents of the green bag included with your storm door. Next, install the closer. Position the jam bracket base onto the door jam. Align the front of the base to the back of the hinge rail and center the base two inches below the window opening. Mark the hole locations on the door jam with a pencil. Next, drill 1 8 inch pilot holes one inch deep in the door jam at the marked locations. Fasten the base to the door jam with two 2 inch screws from the green bag into the two holes closest to the interior of the house, leaving the last hole open. Attach the jam bracket arm to the base by inserting the tabs on the arm into the slots in the base. Fasten with a 2 inch screw from the green bag. Close the storm door. Next, place the hold open washer from the green bag on the closer rod. Pin the closer rod in place using the short pin in the jam bracket and the long pin in the door bracket. Pull on the closer so that the rod extends slightly. Snap the orange preloaded clip from the green bag over the rod. The clip should be pinched tightly between the closer cylinder body and the opposing bumps on the closer rod. Do not drill completely through the door. This will create an unnecessary hole in the door and may cause water and air infiltration. Swing the closer assembly over until the door bracket is resting against the storm door and appears level. Mark the hole locations on the door frame. Drill 1 8 inch holes 5 8 inch deep and attach the closer door bracket to the door frame through the two holes using two 5 8 inch screws from the green bag. Remove the orange clip and dispose of properly. Next, adjust the sweep. From the interior, loosen the sweep screws with a Phillips screwdriver. Adjust the sweep up or down until the fin lightly contacts the sill. Then, retighten the screws. Next, open the door and using a nut driver or flathead screwdriver, remove the four screws from the edge of the door. Dispose of the screws properly. With the weather strip on the interior, position the top hole of the edge seal with the top hole in the edge of the door. Fasten using a 1 inch painted screw from the yellow bag. Using the edge seal as a template, drill 1 inch deep pilot holes in the door through the pre-drilled holes in the edge seal. Using a drill with a Phillips bit, fasten the edge seal to the door with 5 1 inch painted screws from the yellow bag. Next, install the screw cover. Lock the leg of the screw cover onto the short leg of the rain cap screw track. 
press on the other leg to snap it into the long leg of the screw track. Make sure the screw cover snaps into the screw track along the entire length of the rain cap. Repeat this process with the remaining side screw covers. The storm door will close more quickly when the entry door is open. To achieve the proper closing speed, you will need to adjust the closer using the built-in adjustment screw. Check for safe closing speed with your entry door in both the closed and the open position. To prevent injury, make sure people and or pets are completely through the opening before allowing the storm door to shut freely. If you wish to adjust the closing speed, use the adjustment valve. For a slower closing speed, use a Phillips screwdriver to turn the valve clockwise. For a faster closing speed, turn the valve counterclockwise. Congratulations! You have successfully installed your MCO 400 series self-storing storm door. If you have questions about care, maintenance, or repair, call our customer care center at 800-933-3626 or visit the help center in the service section of our website at stormdoors.com. Anderson, customer care is what we care about most.